Probably since SM Entertainment is well aware of their famous visual garden, there are multiple times the company tried to live up to that title by dressing their idols in many types of designs, to the point that there are more and more times fans find the outfits super cheesy and confusing. Funny enough, it's not only in ordinary stages or press conferences that the company put on weird costumes for their artists, but that odd sense of fashion followed the poor idols even onto important occasions like the red carpet. The longer you watch, the weirder these outfits would get. So make sure you watch to the end. Kicking off the list of red carpet disasters is no other than Espa, the five-month-old rookie of SM Entertainment. Ever since debuting, the group has always been highly praised for their stage costumes. Though many of them didn't come from luxurious brand names and were sometimes handmade for the girls, the outfit still received lots of love for helping the members shine as an individual but still look harmonious as a group. That's why, when fans heard that Espa would participate at KBS Connect 2020, they were having really high hopes about the red carpet outfits of the group. However, in contrast to that expectation, the girls arrived at the show with super duper weird and sloppy costumes. First comes Giselle. Besides the stiff and oversized blazer that made her body disproportionate, the overly loose waistband also made her belly look more bloated than usual. By letting her wear a pair of open-toed heels, maybe the stylist's intention was to give Giselle a monochrome minimalistic look. However, it created an illusion that she went to the carpet barefoot and thus made the whole look 10 times more inferior. Then came Winter. While her height was impressive, the stylist had literally turned her into a mushroom by not adjusting the length of the original dress. As if that wasn't bad enough, Winter even had to wear a bulky, irrelevant pair of white heels that did nothing but to make her feet look oddly big. The ideal body figure of Karina was also drowned in an eye-confusing long dress. Though Karina owns an admirably small waistline and slim legs, the odd design has hidden all of those strengths of hers. Also, due to the loose form and the chain of lockers attached low on her hips, Karina looked as if she just had a full buffet before going to the award show. Even funnier, Ning Ning was said to be wearing a curtain to the carpet, as if at the last minute she figured out that there was nothing to wear. While most idols would have gone on multiple fittings to have their outfit tailored according to their body, the fact that all members put on out-of-shape outfits like this apparently showed that their stylist had been irresponsible in preparing for the girls. The only connection of this set of outfits are the gauze masks. Other than that, Espa looks like four totally different people going to the show separately. Looking at the girls, audiences see absolutely no concept or aesthetics. While some people believe that Espa's stylist would take such criticisms into consideration and dress the girls better next time, they were completely shook to see that the second red carpet costumes of the girls were even worse. Though it's undeniable that the previous set of outfits were terrible, at least the colors looked somewhat trendy and harmonious. However, when it came to the second appearance of Espa at SBS Gaio Daijin, the terribleness was elevated to a whole new level considering the cheesy designs and out-of-date colors. As Giselle's shoulders were a bit broad, the design with an emphasis on the chest has made her upper body bulkier compared to other members. Then, for Winter's outfit, not only the off-paint color made the whole look old and rustic, but the design also made her look rural and way too 2000. The form of the outfit was so loose that even the cutout at the waist couldn't make her look anything more attractive. Similar for Karina and Ning Ning, there was only one word to describe their outfits. Disaster. Some netizens even started to compare the outfits of Espa with those of Power Rangers since they looked so outdated and rustic. First, the good guys are here! Get off our planet! Because we're the Power Rangers! And we're not backing down! Yes! However, with fans of SM Entertainment, not many people were surprised by Espa's red carpet outfits, since they were so used to seeing idols of the companies have a fashion disaster on important occasions. Take Red Velvet, for example. In the past, there were multiple times Revel Loves asked SM Entertainment to hire a new stylist for the girls, because their outfits were so confusing and caused a lot of controversies. While 2020 was the era where people started to go minimalistic, Red Velvet was given cheesy purple outfits which made some people think that they were stuck in 2007. Of the four members, Yuri could have had the best look had she taken off those white flowers that looked like a pair of chopped off horns. The outfit of Sulgi was acceptable since it didn't have much to complain about. However, when it came to Irene and Joy, everyone just couldn't believe their eyes. Joy's dress just looked outdated, with a very 2000s vibe, whereas Irene's outfit looked like it was made of cheap material by some random tailor who had a bad taste in fashion. The costume was just so off that even her majestic visual couldn't save the look. 
However, fans of Red Velvet and Espa should still feel happy about their Idols' red carpet outfits. Because they will for sure be scared to death by what SNSD had to wear. Take this iconic photo, for example. Though it's hard to tell whether such designs were on trend back in the days, from the modern point of view, they were nothing but a red carpet disaster. After digging up the picture, some netizens joke that Sohyun and Yuna looked indeed like two Mr. Clauses standing in a group of Christmas trees. Not only were the outfits too basic and ordinary for the red carpet, the cheesy ruffle dresses that were made with the one-size-fit-all idea also showed the body weaknesses of some members. The choice of dark green and bright red colors was also bad since they literally turned SNSD into a children's band that was about to perform for their school Christmas event. And do you see the color of Hyoyeon's dress? What an unacceptable situation where the stylist had probably not bought enough fabric to make the green dresses. So they had to opt for another shade of green to complete Hyoyeon's dress at the last minute. As if the stylist wanted to manifest that pink is the symbolic color of SNSD, they had dressed the whole group in pink two times and ended up creating two other red carpet disasters. By making the girls wear detailed leggings under the already super detailed pink dress, the overall look is overwhelming. These leggings also made some members look like they just put on some weight. Their legs look disproportionate compared to the whole body. Maybe the trend back then was to be extra on the red carpet, but the girls seemingly went way overboard which ended up making them look like they had just volunteered in a circus before rushing to the event. Another pink disaster of SNSC was this set of pink bee outfits. Even when the bling bling dragon details were omitted and some black was added onto the designs to make them less extra, overall, the whole picture was still way too cheesy and overwhelming. Moreover, the boxy design of the dresses obviously hid the girls' curves. Since SM Entertainment has always been famous for being the creative hub of the industry, it looks like dressing male idols in simple suits has never been enough for them. That's why, in the past, fans of SHINee and NCT were constantly shocked when witnessing the carpet outfits of their idols. Even when the stylist did go for the common choice like suits, the patterns and colors must certainly be something different and extra. When Minho and Ki's outfits were filled with square, colorful patterns, Tamin suddenly put on a whale suit and snapback that couldn't make him more of a misfit. Besides the eye-itching color combination, especially the one of Key that couldn't look more random and so much like a cracked TV screen, fans also couldn't help but thinking of the bedsheet cover often seen in their grandparents' bedroom. If this look of shiny must be described in two words, then obviously they would be broken and outdated. Especially with a group that represents the creativity of SM Entertainment, the stylists can now freely express their craziness under the name Innovative. Though it's not certain that NCT-Zens could count all the times that NCT wore weird costumes, one thing is for sure, that there is no one who wouldn't know about the dreadful red carpet fashion in their fire truck era. Oddly enough, while the three members standing at the center have quite normal and understandable outfits, those of the other four were nothing but peculiar. Showing up at the event, Mark and Heichan wore a skirt with a pair of jeans underneath. In fact, it looked more like an apron because the skirt didn't even have a back to it. While Mark's hideous outfit literally made everyone speechless, it's a shame that that of Heichun would have actually looked fine had it not been for the apron. Because the denim top and that spike choker are reasonable looking. Having such eccentric outfits on, the pair must have had incredibly high self-confidence to appear at such an important event and even managed to keep a straight face when doing photo shoots. Then came Utah. Though the mask clinging to his neck is kind of weird, it's indicated that he was supposed to look cool and badass but the overly baggy outfit and yellow pair of sneakers have betrayed the intention. To this day, no one has ever had any idea about what sophisticated meanings SM was trying to imply through Utah's outfit. Last was Taeyo, with an outfit that made him 10 times shorter. Though his height was not as good as other members, instead of giving him something fit and neat to cover that weakness up, the stylist put him in a wide leg pair of jeans and loose, cheesy striped shirts that made him look like a hobbit holding a rose. So does the reason SM stylists keep putting on bad outfits for idols simply come down to their poor sense of fashion? Or is it a way to get attention at any cost? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Be Boss TV for more intriguing videos. Thank you for watching.